In 2005, inexplicably beloved, terrible film critic Roger Ebert made the unfortunate mistake of saying that video games were not and could never be art. Now full stop right here. I want to clarify that the purpose of this video is not to shit on Roger Ebert. Roger Ebert admitted that he was ignorant on the subject and apologized numerous times, but nobody remembers that part. The purpose of this video is to shit on gamers, because you are the ones responsible for turning this man's innocuous words into a meme that will not die. Even a decade after the fact, insecure, immature gamers still can't wait to tell you which new, overhyped killer app is the Citizen Kane of gaming that finally proves video games are art. <sighs> you all deserve to be beaten with soap. Art doesn't need to prove itself. Video games have always been high art, and repeatedly insisting that a certain game is going to come along and somehow prove it is just desperate, sad, and worst of all, disgustingly cliche at this point. If you really think that The Last of Us is an astounding and profound work of art, then the least you can do is put some more thought into your analysis and come up with some more imaginative praise. Just calling something art doesn't cut it, because that should go without saying, you vapid underage swine. I cringe every time I see this unoriginal phrase slapped onto an otherwise decent game, because it takes the focus off what the game does well and shifts that focus onto the bizarre insecurities of the gamers themselves. Every time you say The Last of Us or Bioshock or whatever else proves that games are art, you're proving that you don't deserve them to be. It demonstrates an incredibly narrow and childish perception of what art is. To you unwashed imbeciles, art just means something with a pretty cutscene or a cool plot twist, or some pseudo-philosophical undertones that impress teenagers. And of course, we can't forget the paper-thin, incredibly transparent form of emotional manipulation that is the wide-eyed, virginal surrogate daughter trope, which is basically the just-add-water instant Citizen Kane formula for video games. And don't construe this as me shitting on the Bioshock series or The Last of Us, because those are all decent games in their own right. But if you think they needed to prove something, then you're part of the fucking problem. Because yeah, those games can be called art, or even high art, whatever the hell that means. But you know what else can? Persona 4, Uncharted 2, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Shadow of the Colossus, Deus Ex, Twisted Metal Black, Metroid Prime, Wind Waker, Majora, Ocarina, Oddworld, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Twisted Metal 2, GoldenEye, Pokemon Red and Blue, all the Metal Gear Solids, all the Final Fantasies, Super Metroid, Mario, 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 Earthbound, Mario, Mario, Elemental Master, Shinobi 3, Barney's Hide and Seek, Turok, Splatterhouse 2, and fucking Barnstorming. These are some of the games that I would consider high art, and maybe your list is different, but the point is, if you're a gamer at all, then the artistic merit of video games should have been obvious to you for decades. Oh, but The Last of Us finally proved it. It proved games are art because the Disney princess almost got raped. Fuck off. If you want video games to be perceived as a mature medium, it might be helpful if it had a more mature audience. You dummies. In this